Greetings, Earthlings! Alex here. If you've been paying attention in the ongoing saga of which of my parts are going to show up first, so which project is going to happen, I will have you know that it's the extruder stuff. They came through with some gears and uh, infinite belts, so looks like I'm going to be picking at the extruder stuff first, and then when the other parts show up, I'll be switching gears to other things. It was between that, um, some other 32-bit board stuff, and the printer build. And the printer build, I have to re-reorder bearings. And the 32-bit board stuff, I ordered one of, excuse me a minute, one of these, which is yet another permutation of the ramps board. Uh, this one includes uh, onboard hardwired SPI with a bunch of little jumpers, but I wanted to do it with their uh, TMC 2130 drivers in uh, a rearm and then do a review of that. Unfortunately, they forgot to send the drivers or they sent like one of the drivers instead of one pack of drivers. So anyway, I had to reorder those and they should be here soon. I actually put rush shipping on it so I wouldn't have to wait as long. But regardless, since we're doing extruder stuff, I have to pick a uh, fan to, uh, like a cooling fan, to design around. So, as you recall from back a little while ago, I said that I had ordered a metric buttload of different cooling fans and I was going to be testing them out. Well, I kind of narrowed down the field to a few and I thought I would put the results up here for you all in case it was something interesting, if you were looking to order a blower or something like that. And also, um, from those results, I thought, well, there's another little lesson in here, and that's that you can't always trust the ratings on paper. We know that, but this one's a little bit more unique. So with no further ado, here we go. All right, so this is our rogues gallery. Now, I wanted to throw in a couple axial fans, which we know from the blower test don't work very well, but with a twist, and then a couple different blowers. And I'm just gonna be using this same dumb blow up the plastic bag setup that I did in the other one. We'll time it, see which one blows it up fastest. Now, the aperture in this that I used was 14 millimeters per 17, or 17, seven millimeters. And that was just so that I could constrict the hole down to kind of simulate one of the uh, like funnel style blower shroud guide type things for a cooling fan on a hot end. Now for the weight weenies among you or Delta users or whatever, I put each of these on a gram scale so that I could see what they weighed and here's the comparison. The lightest being the 30 millimeter axial fan from GDS time and the heaviest being the big axial fan from Nidic. And if you remember last time, I ran the Nidic at half voltage because I knew it was so loud. Well, this time I am running the 30 millimeter axial fan at over voltage. So I'm going to be running a 12 volt fan at 24 volts just to see how it would perform. Now, not all fans will survive that kind of torture, but this one seemed to do all right. And I had suspicions that it would. Now, getting to our bag inflation times. The best time was by the uh, the Delta 50 millimeter blower. That did really well, about 34 seconds. The slowest was the 30 millimeter axial fan, even though it was over vaulted and pushing a whole lot more air, still axial fans have a lot of problems pushing through some kind of conduit where they have static back pressure. So the ones that I'm interested in are either the Delta or the GDS time 40 millimeter blower for the actual part cooling fan, and then the 30 millimeter blower to use for a hot end cooler. So performance aside, I went and dug up the specs for these, and you can see that the, the top two are the GDS time, and the bottom one is the large Delta blower, and they have their decibel ratings. And this is important to me because I'm working right next to a printer that I'm basically running all the time, and the blowers on there right now are driving me freaking crazy. So let's have a little bit of lesson time about decibel rating scales. Basically, there's three different types of weighting that they use. Typically, for noise, they will use the A rating. And that's supposed to best emulate the typical human hearing curve. Now, what's the hearing curve, you might ask? The audio nerds among you will no doubt be familiar with the Fletcher Munson curves or the equal loudness curves as they have been recalibrated and renamed as. But basically these just show that the lowest parts on each of these curves are where your ears are the most sensitive. So you can see that we can hear a frequency at like 3000 kilohertz a whole lot better than we can hear a frequency at like 100 hertz. 
Now the decibel scale is a little bit weird if you're not used to working with it, but that's a 20 decibel difference, which means it's about four times perceived difference in loudness. So for example, if we hear a signal that's 100 hertz at 60 decibels, and then we hear a signal that's 3000 hertz at 60 decibels, even though they are the same decibel rating, we are going to perceive the 3000 hertz ones as much louder. Now again, as we saw with the data, they each have decibel ratings and they're within one decibel of each other, which is practically intangible. But as is often the case, that just doesn't always transfer into reality land as we know it. So I made a recording of each of these fans and I compared them. I ran them through an FFT plugin to look at the frequency spectrum and I clipped little bits of it out here for you to hear. Now you see where my lying liar claim comes from. Because all three of those middle samples are supposed to be within one decibel of each other. But obviously we perceive the 50 millimeter fan as being much louder. Because despite the A weighting of the testing, our 30 millimeter fan noise is much more heavy toward the low frequencies that we find less annoying and we're less sensitive to. Whereas with the 50 millimeter fan, much more of the frequency content is up in the two, three, four, five, six kilohertz range that we find particularly annoying and we're very sensitive to. This chart shows the 50 millimeter fan on the top and a 30 millimeter fan on the bottom. And you can see the difference in the frequency spectrum there. Let's hear them again back to back. So in terms of annoyance ranking, I'd say that the Nidic is the most annoying and the Delta 50 millimeter blower is unfortunately second most annoying. And that is unfortunate because it was obviously the best of the blower fans in there. And then the least annoying was the overvolted 30 millimeter axial. However, it had really poor performance. So it looks like I'm gonna design around a pair of 40 millimeter blowers, and then maybe I'll make provisions to make a larger one, or I'll keep an eye out for another quieter blower that's out there. Now I had been testing these 10 millimeter thick blower fans because I've previously been using these larger 20 millimeter thick fans and I found them all to be pretty loud and they get a little bit rattly after a while, but I may look back into maybe higher quality versions of these as well. But for now, I'm just going to design around the 40 by 40 by 10. All right, thanks for checking out the video. I'll have some more out soon. As always, there are support links in the description below. I don't know if I'll be able to put up a link to these fans down there. I'll try. But regardless, thanks for watching. And until the next video, get out there and make something awesome.